Yo, what's up guys? Blake here bringing you some Max Fire PvP. And uh, I've come up with this sort of weird setup that actually surprisingly works. And you might be looking at this and be thinking, Blake, what what are these stats, dude? What is your resist? What is your health? Listen, hear me out, okay? Look at these stats. 8,800 health as a fire. That's ridiculous. And not only to have that much health, but to still have 150 plus damage, actually nuts. So yeah, my resist is bad, but hey, I can't base fizz and wait, it gets better. The only two stats that are bad about this setup is that my resist is low and my crit is low. Everything else is amazing. Look at this, 33 block on a fire? And it, it, it does block quite a bit. So I'm telling you, this is good. 39 pierce, which is basically better than all the other schools except Storm still. Um, and I'm using defensive gear, as you can see. And then this is just amazing. Perfect shads, 121, nuts. Can't pip fail and juicy pip conserve. So this is sort of like a glass cannon setup, but you're more tanky because of the amount of health that you have. And I think that's really important for fire. Resist isn't that important, but health really is. And that's where the setup shines. Um, and being able to block is, is so nice because sometimes you just lose game, uh, lose games because if somebody just crits and it's so dumb. So having a little bit of extra block can make a big difference and make up for that lack of uh, resist that you don't have. And honestly, resist isn't that important for fire, which is why this setup really shines and it actually works super well you're super tanky you get shads at a pretty fast rate and you just go hard honestly so the gear that i'm using for this setup is the dragoon's hat uh this hat is so good for fire good shads damage critical pierce accuracy pips health it's amazing only thing that it misses is resist but like i said uh the offensive talents makes up for it you don't need it and the health uh makes up for losing that resist so it's just so good then i'm using the dragoon's robe and you might be like blake you're nuts why are you using that and not turquoise uh, mostly for the shads, but also the block. Uh, the block, it gives me about 14 block. It gives me 17 shads. Um, it also allows me to get more pips. As you can see, I have 106 pips um, with this robe, but that's because you get this extra fifth set bonus, as I'll show you in a second. If I was using turquoise robe instead, yeah, my damage would go up. And this setup is definitely good too. I would definitely recommend people trying it out. And that's probably what I'll do for the next fire video. But I don't think this one's as good because it's two in the middle. Your damage is ridiculous and your health is still Still not your resist is even increased a little bit um but your block is decreased significantly and your pips are decreased and your shads are decreased and i feel like with this setup you're already sort of going for a tanky shad build um so i feel like just dragoon really matches up nice with that and uh pips means power right um fail pipping for a fire can mean the difference between being able to you know e free into a scorch and being able to e free and lose the game right so um having that perfect pips with the better shads is basically making up damage right so you do lose damage um by using the dragoon's robe but i think it's just so good honestly um and it looks on paper kind of weird like sure it looks pretty nutty but you could also be like blake what is the setup it's not gonna work i'm telling you it does and it's pretty crazy so yeah i use the cl wand which works really well with this robe because i don't care about my critical and this one gives great pierce damage pip conserve shads everything and then i'm using the dragoon's amulet to get that uh five peep set bonus with the hat the robe the boots the dame and the amulet then i got the duelist 130 ring this ring's so good i'm using the uh fill source set bonus which is what allows me to have 150 plus health otherwise i'd have like 148 but i got that triple uh triple damage double resist furnace brace which is really nice with the stompy chompy bronto whatever and then the duelist 130 deck uh with the accuracy socketed so these stats are nutty i, I basically turn into a behemoth which is kind of nuts so i hope you guys enjoy this video i know that was a long intro but this setup is really cool and i feel like it deserved a little bit more attention so yeah if you guys want to just skip to the matches in the future when i do long intros go for that but anyway hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one as always, peace out, guys. Let's go ahead and stun block. Do it quickly. Don't give her time to pull. So I'm first again, but hopefully I get shads at a decent rate this game. So let's just go ahead and stun block. She doesn't have red ghost, so I don't mind initiating a bubble war. I really don't mind initiating a bubble war at all. Doesn't mean I have to, but I don't mind. But this setup is so nice. And she's still, so she's not stun blocking. Interesting. I'm surprised because she doesn't stun block. I'll literally do exactly what I did again. I do want to keep my pips for now. So I'm going to go ahead and blade. I'm not going to bubble just yet. I'd rather keep my pips than keep, uh, than, than to bubble right now. When I get more pips, then I can afford to bubble. But I want to be a threat to her in terms of my pips and how I can combo that. Let's get rid of one of these. Let's get rid of the Aegis. Let's get rid of the stun block. Okay. There we go. So she's probably going to blade. She might stun block. She's going to blade. All right. So I'm literally going to bubble right now because I don't like, what is she going to do? Doom and gloom? Fine with me, dude. Let's see how close she is to a shad. Okay. So we're about the same pace on shads. Um, I'm going to get rid of this enchant too, actually. Yeah. 
And then I am gonna initiate the bubble war. Cause then I can just spam shields unless she dooms. And if she dooms, I'm fine with that, right? So I'm basically buying myself more time to get something. And also I didn't have a better turn. Would have rather bladed this turn just to keep the pip, but it's not a bad move at all. We got the shad too. So she might be forced to shield right now, which would be really nice for us. She's gonna shield, I think. I don't think she's gonna change bubble. There you go. So if she doesn't get the shad, I'm just gonna elf her. I'm gonna straight up elf her right now. I've got a blade and a bubble. If she does get a shad, I might just elf her anyway. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna elf now. Get rid of this, and then, yeah, elf. And I'm gonna get rid of that bubble. I, I got my one bubble up. If she wants to doom, I'm cool with that. So now I elf her. She can't really kill me here. Like, let's say she vengeful. I mean, maybe I'd be cooked if she sends a vengeful my way. That'd be interesting. I'd like to see that. She might just send it, honestly. Let's see. But I'm gonna get that elf. Just to get that value on her. You know what I mean? Break that overtime. I could have probably got away with the shield there. Because if she does hit me with something hard like that, that would kind of suck. You know what I mean? Like, let's say she does vengeful and critical. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead if she does that, bro. So maybe I should have shielded. Okay, that's a little bit sus. I'm, I may have underestimated, uh, you know, the death wizard. But let's see. Maybe she doesn't have vengeful. Please, please don't vengeful. Nice, nice. Stun block. Blade again? Okay, now I set shield. Or is she going to doom? All right. So now I set shield for sure, right? She's got too many buffs and stuff. I could take an open FFA right now. But there's no point in me doing that, right? There's no point. She's got three buffs now. Max pips. I'm scared. So I'm going to go ahead and set shield. She might go for a deadly minnow. If she does, I'll set shield again. No problem. I'll just spam set shields, really. Got the Aegis on that, sure. Yeah, let's do this. Um, I'll keep that enchant. It's not going to need more than one strike. Not going to need that bubble. Should we pull from side now? Yeah, let's pull from side. Okay, so I got a couple FFAs and stuff. Let's see what she does here. I think she's going to deadly minnow. If she poisons, that'd be kind of a dumb move. But she's probably going to deadly minnow. Yeah, here comes a deadly. There's no way this isn't a deadly. Yeah, okay. So even if she crits this, I'm fine. I just set shoot again and there's nothing she can do about it. She crit, yeah, not a problem. I'm totally fine right now. It is triple buff, so this will do like 5,000. Or, or like, yeah, around there. Probably, maybe even more, dude. Like 5,600, because my resistance is so bad. Yeah, probably 56, 46. Okay, never mind. I was off. I'm still, look at this, though. I still have so much health. That's actually ridiculous. Okay. Now it's pretty straightforward. I just go, I'm going to delete all of this and then just set shield again. Uh, but now I'm in a really good position. And I need to pull for like Efree and maybe King Artorius. I could even stun her right now. I could even stun and then e free, but I would rather go ahead and do this and then strike if she shields, yeah. So I'm gonna shield right now. She's probably gonna set shield to which I'll just strike. And then, yeah, that's pretty much GG, I think. I'm trying to do, th is there anything she could like get away with? Okay, there we go. That's a really, thank God I pulled that fire off. So here comes the set shield, that's my guess. But she still isn't stun blocked. So if she set shields, I strike where I elf. Oh, she's gonna blade her doom? What is this, doom? Okay, that's kind of a weird move. So yeah, now I'm gonna strike. We're actually, what if I elf here? What if I elf and then I King Artorius into an FFA? Is that enough to kill her? I'm pretty sure it is. So I might not even have to strike, honestly. But I could I could also just Heffy, bro. I could strike into a Heffy. It's kind of a tough, tough decision. I don't think I need to strike against her, but let's do it anyway. I can't go wrong with the strike, you know what I mean? Like, she might have Dispel ready and stuff, but I'm okay. I'm with that. I can, she still doesn't have stun blocks and I have a set shield, so I can afford to strike. Don't know how much resist she has, so I kind of want to play um, around that resist, you feel me? So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Got this for a Dispel. I've got this if I need a single stun. Like, I could even e free stun and do something else. King Art would be nice, but... I need to cycle my deck a little bit better. I do want to keep Heffy. Let's say she shields here. I'm probably going to elf, actually, even if she does shield. So this might be stun blocks. Let's see, though. It's stun blocks. So now I Heffy. Now I Heffy for sure. I could take the open Shad, too, though. I could just straight up FFA. But I'd rather Heffy to buff myself. I could also Fiery Giant. That would also be a pretty... Ooh. Ooh. I could Fiery Giant. Hold on. I'm at th I'm at 13 pips of fire. Fiery Giant. That brings me down to 6. Now that I have 8. No, no, no. I want to I wanna Heffy. So let me just do a free, like, you know, I don't know, 1800 damage. Buff myself. And then I'm probably gonna King or I'm gonna e freed after this. I don't know how she could kill me, to be honest with you. She could maybe death scarab and then bait the e freed and then go for a scion. That would that would be a pretty decent move, honestly. But at that point, I could maybe mama Colossus or something. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna just do this to buff myself, do 2k damage, and get that bubble. Um, yeah, she's probably got fire to spell ready, which kind of sucks. But I still have a set shield, so as long as she doesn't take the set shield off, she's not really a threat to me. Honestly, I probably should have just FFA'd that turn, but it's okay. FFA probably would have been better. I mean, it was an open shad, but here I am double buffed. So I think she's dead to an e -free. Her best move at this point is probably to death scare her, but I think she's just dead anyway. Um, I'm going to e freed her now, no matter what, though. Yeah, I'm definitely going to e freed her, no matter what. I don't I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. If she dispels me, I've got this ready. Stun's not going to mean anything, so let's get rid of that. So here comes the dispel. Oh, it's a mantle. Uh-uh. No, sir. No, not a mantle. Uh-uh. This is not happening. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh my. Oh my god. 
Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Please! I'm probably gonna fizzle this, to be honest with you. I'm gonna fizzle. Yeah, wait. Yes, we powered. Okay, I'll take it. All right, so FFA would have been better here, just but this kills anyway. Oh, yeah, this for sure kills. So she's cooked. GG. Mm. She tanked. She tanked, but she can't kill me. Even if she even if she fire dispels me into a scion, there's no way I die with the set shield and a weakness. So, yeah, there's no way I die. All right, she still had 500. Yeah, I should have pulled for the FFA. Oh, is this the vengeful? Oh, she full sent it. She full sent the vengeful. All right, well, this is going to do really bad damage. Yeah, you can critical. It's fine. It's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna do anything. Good effort though. I, I gotta respect it. Good effort. Yeah, see, and I don't die to my backlash. Alright, so what's something cool I could kill her with? Elf, but I kinda wanna kinda wanna kill her with something else, dude. But I mean elf is so good. And it's not, and yeah, just don't waste TC, right? Oh, game is lagging. This is not it. Yeah, it's just elf. This is literally gonna do a thousand damage. Look at this. Look at this. Two pips and provides value as being an overtime for three rounds. Look at this. Look how much it does. It's actually gonna do like twelve hundred. Okay, never mind. But that's insane. That was in damage. That, and that was just the first hit. That was just the first hit, dude. Actually crazy. All right. Well, that was a good game. GD Morgan, well played. Uh, that was a fun one. I got Shads at a better rate that game. And we just played that pretty well, honestly. That was good. So this deck and this gear setup is really neat. But let's give it a chance, right? right we're going against Rod. Oh, this guy is Fire Ward, right? He is Death Ward. Bal Fire Ward, Myth Ward? Death Ward, Bounce Ward, Myth Ward? Death Ward, Bounce Ward, something Ward? Ice Ward? Maybe he doesn't have Fire Ward. I'm not sure, dude. I actually have no idea what this man has. Um, do I need Aegis against this guy? No, not really. I might as well just Aegis the Blade, because why not? So we're second to him, and he's playing like, this guy? What school is this guy? No Fire has 9,000 health. No Fire has that much health, and you would be right, but the thing is, you haven't seen you haven't seen this Blake PvP out here. Look, look on my Shads, too. Nice, nice little Shad progress. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that fire dispel, even though it might be kind of nice. Just ages that, and let's go ahead and stun block. Just get it out of the way, you feel me? No need to be holding on to that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stun block, put that on real quick, and, uh, see how he replies to that. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay, so... Hmm. I don't want to discard anything besides one blade. Let's see what he does. He's probably gonna... Oh, he's gonna blade again? Yo, Mans doesn't care. Mans actually doesn't care. So I don't know if I want to blade here or if I want to shield here. I want to play... How close is he to a Shad? Not close. Not close, any new pips. I don't mind getting rid of a bubble and then just going ahead and blading here. I think my deck is still a little bit too big. I need to make my deck a little bit smaller for this. Even though I am playing with a lot of health, I feel like I should lower it down a bit. Furnace right there would have been really nice because he's still not a threat to me. Okay, that's a good pull. Get rid of this. Draw for triage. Nice. Juicy. Juicy turn right there. I've already got the shads. So he's going to brace here, which is kind of annoying considering I don't have that much pierce. I can't really, that, that basically just counters me unless I strike against him. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, oh, and he got the shad. So I'm going to get rid of this fire shark and then just go ahead and set shield. Yeah, so he can frostbite into a weaver and I'm going to have to accept that. At this point, he's not initiating the bubble war. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this. He's going to frostbite, I triage, and then I'm going to have to eat a weaver. And that's basically end of story. Unless I get a furnace right now, in which case I could probably just hit him through. Okay, wait a second. I could hit through the brace because I don't think he's I don't think he's fire warded. So two buffs like that with my 40 peers. I mean it's not quick match. I need a strike, bro. That's what I really should be doing. Okay. So we got that. Let's keep drawing. I mean I could afford let's say he does frostbite. Honestly, I could just strike and eat the frostbite. There you go. So he's gonna start shooting now. Now I'm probably gonna strike, bro. Because I need to play aggressively. Yeah, he's gonna stun block. Okay, now I strike. Yeah, now I strike for sure. I've got furnace, I've got the blade, I have a shield on. Definitely gonna strike right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. If he tries to shield here, I might just fire giant or fire elf. Fire giant would be really nice because then it would defend me from being getting cooked and strike. You feel me? So let's see what happens here. I want to see what his move is. He kind of has to shield though. Like he doesn't have much of a choice. You've got to shield, bro. If you don't shield, you're pretty cooked. You feel me? If you don't shield, you're pretty cooked. So let's draw a couple times. Uh, he's going to shield now. So I'm going to elf. I'm going to elf here. Get that value off the blade and all that stuff. Um, And then I can fire giant him after that if I really need to, honestly. Just to get that dispel on him. But yeah, I'm definitely going to elf here. There's no reason for me not to. Um, it's going to do good damage, though. We're going to penetrate the shield, so that's fine. Let's see how much resist he has. I don't. I think he's balance, death, and ice warded, if I'm not mistaken. But let's see. Let's see how much this does. 361. Considering I had double buffs. I mean, that was a set shield. Yeah, it did good damage. Look at this. I already got the other shad back. Uh, for some reason, Blake channel is redlining all my volume mixers. Can't tell if that's normal Blake decibels or not. Am I being really loud or something? What's going on? So he's going to Thermic again, and I think I'm just going to Fire you Giant, just to put the Dispel on him. Yeah, I'm literally going to Fire you Giant right now. It's more for the utility than anything else. I mean, I could just Elf him again, honestly. I could just Elf him again, bro. Let me think. Is it worth the Fire Giant here? Let's say he does Dispel me. I'm going to send the Fire Giant, bro. I want to put that Fire... I know he's got a Fire Dispel ready. So I'm going to send the Fire Giant. This is actually a good move. 
This is a good move. It's gonna do decent damage as well. Not nothing crazy, but it'll do like I don't know, uh, maybe like um, 800 damage or something like that. A thousand damage. Yeah, probably a thousand damage, which is decent. Uh, but so this is more for the utility than anything, right? So there we go. It did 900. That's so sad. But okay, we got the dispel. So he can't dispel me now, which means I have a wide open furnace. Uh, Wide open furnace FFA coming his way, probably. I could also just hit him with an FF. I mean, I don't have to shat him here, but that fire giant was actually a decent move, trust me. So I want to see how he responds to that, though. What are you going to do right now? Because I could easily, like, let's say he shields, he's getting FFA'd. He's going to cold iron or weaver. That's my guess. I hope he weavers. Because then he has to waste the shat and it's only a tower shield. Weaver would be such a good move, but he's going to cold iron. Guaranteed cold iron. I promise you, dude. I promise this is a cold iron. Oh, he actually weavered. Thank God. Thank God. That's huge. Go. Keep your tower shield, man. I'm going to FFA and hit right through that. No problem. No problem. So there you go. He wasted a blade. He's going to hit into my set shield. It's going to do probably 2,000 anyway because of ice, but we're fine. So that's good. He should have cold ironed. That would have been his best move. Cold iron or set shield again, but cold iron would have been better. Even if he gets the shad, I'm probably going to FFA right now because this is, this is one of the best looks I'm going to get, right? It's only a 50 tower shield. I'm in strike and I have furnace. I'm going to take the FFA, bro. Yeah, I'm going to take that FFA. Ain't no way I'm not taking this wide open FFA. Because I'm going I'm to pierce through almost all of his resist. And I've got Furnace up. So this should do at least 4,000, dude. At least. And then we have him down to 3k. And that's more than enough. So as long as he doesn't critical his hit, I'm fine. And I have like 35 blocks. So if he criticals and I don't block and I lose because of that, that's just some BS, bro. That's just some BS. So let's see, what, let's see what's up. I'm telling you, it's going to do at least 4,000. Unless this guy does have a Fire Ward pet. Okay, so it did almost 4,000. That's still really good, right? I'm telling you, he's going to be down to almost 3K. We got good value of our, our, our furnace. We played that well. I'm already close to another Shad. He's going to take the Weaver here, which is fine. I'm going to take 800 Backlash, which is not fine, but it's okay. I'm fine still. I still have, you know, 6,700 health. So we're bulling. We're okay. It could be worse, you know. And I got the Shad right back, like I said. So here comes the Weaver, which is fine. Here comes the Weaver. Um, well, I need two Elves. Probably not. I probably just need set shields, but yeah, I'm just gonna shield. So he's gonna weaver here. I wish I had another turn of the overtime, but that's the last turn. So he, I mean, he's, if you don't weaver here, I don't know what he's doing. He has to weaver, bro. If he doesn't weaver, what, like, what is he doing, right? Yeah, so he's down to 3,000 already. He's gonna weaver me now. Oh, he didn't weaver. Oh, that's GG, bro. He didn't weaver. That, oh, that's for sure GG. I mean, not like he, that would have done. It's only a tower shield. What is this, Sleet Storm? Give me that extra damage buff. I'm down. All right, sure. So now I'm just gonna set shield, because why not, right? Probably pull for triage, yeah. Set shield, pull for triage. That's the plan. Don't need more than one health. He's down at 3k. He's down at 3k, so that's pretty juicy. Um, do I need to pull for anything? No, not really. Yeah, I can literally... Yeah, I'm just gonna Thermic, right? Should I Glacial Shield? Yeah, because if he Steel Wards that, I'm down. Okay, so I'm gonna Glacial Shield because, yeah, if he, if he Steel Wards that, that's good for me. That gives me more time, more pips to combo. So I'm just gonna do this. It doesn't really make a big difference. I have the Thermic in my hand ready to go. Um, I do want to pull for that thingy though can i pull please for triage okay so here comes the frostbite right there's no way this isn't a frostbite to which i could just strike honestly he's gonna polar swarm okay good move by him sure that was a good move i'll give him credit that was a nice move saving them pips just to get that uh basically just to get the overtime on polar swarm is extremely underrated extremely underrated at max level especially he pip conserved so now there's a few things that i can do here um i mean why not just fire why not just fire elf here right get that overtime going on him I mean, do I lose anything from Fire Elfing him? Nope, not really. And even if he crits on my dad or anything, no. He only has a Sleet Storm buff. Yeah, I'm, an, I'm a Fire Elf here. I'm a Fire Elf. So his Weaver's going to do a good bit of damage, but I'm not tripping over it. Yeah, see, look at that. That's doing 379 a tick. I'm okay with that. His damage is very low because uh, he's warded. So let me just get the Elf. Like I said, when, uh, like I've said before, if somebody dots you, sometimes your best move is just to dot them right back. You know what I mean? Uh, just, just copy them, basically. Just do exactly what they're doing. So he's gonna dot me, I'm gonna dot him, and then I'm fine with that. So let's see here. If he if he um weavers me, then we get that value off, right? Yes, he gets the damage in, but that shield was for nothing, right? Prevents me from hitting him this turn, so it saves him a it, it prevents him from dying for another round. But this weaver's not gonna do that much damage, right? If he I'm, I'm trying to do the math real quick. Yeah, even if he criticals, it's doing like 3.4k maximum. So this is gonna do probably like 2.5, 2.6, that's my guess. And I'm still gonna have more health than him. So I'm big booing, you know what I mean? I'm big boon. So let's see what he does. Yeah, see, 20, look at this. I still have more health than him. I'm fine with that. His shad is gone. I'm getting value from that fire off. So like I said, it was a good move. I don't even have to shield this turn. I could honestly just blade. Could honestly just blade. I don't need to be shielding. Um, or I could even strike. Actually, probably strike is my best move. Strike into fire gut. Because he can't dispel me. Yeah, I'm going to strike here. 
I can't doubt him on backlash, so I'm gonna strike right now. I'm gonna strike into a fire gut into an FFA, and then there's nothing he can do about it. So let's just do that. Let's just get it out of the way. Like I said, I, I'm not gonna die to backlash or anything. It's not risky, so I'm cool with that. He can't dispel me. If he didn't have that dispel up, I, I would be very careful and I wouldn't have done that. But because I know I'm getting the shad, uh, because I know he can't make me take too much backlash, and because I know he's dead in two turns, I have no problem doing that. So let's see what he does here. I'm curious. He's gonna double shield. Or he's gonna do that. Okay, so I'm literally just gonna go ahead and... Honestly, I could probably just FFA right through it. No joke. But the safer move would be to fire gut. Let me see. He didn't even get a shot. I mean, let me think. Let me do the math real quick. Would this kill? I think it would straight up. I think the FFA would kill. I'm pretty sure the FFA would kill. And Isis spell here would be so good. But uh, let's just play it safe, bro, right? I don't lose anything from fire gunning right now. That's the last turn of the overtime. So I'm just, pr I'm just protecting myself with the shield. The only way I could lose this by some miracle is if he mantles me and I fizzle and then take a ridiculous amount of backlash. But either way, I'm literally just going to do this right now. This is my safer move. I'm I'm very confident, or I'm pretty confident, that an FFA would have killed. Let's see how much this does, though. Just in case, you know what I mean? Play it safe. Oh, he's got the extra damage, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Wait, wait, wait. No, that was still my best move. Yeah, that was still my best move. So, uh, I'm still gonna be at 40 backlash, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, cause I'm gonna kill him this turn. So he has to mantle me, really. That's the only way he's got a chance. And if he, if he wins off a mantle, bro, I don't even consider that an L. So, he's dead to an FFA right now. He can set shield. It doesn't matter. Uh, the FFA do, does too much. And I do have a pierce blade now, uh, which I didn't have before. So, that is GG, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't need to e free, but it, I mean, I didn't need to strike, but I thought, why not, bro? He's a behemoth. Let's just get him with the strike. So, that was nice. That was a really good match. We did well. This setup is kind of nuts, dude. I'm not even going to lie, bro. This setup is kind of nutty, dude. So, yeah, you're dead. There's there's no way FFA doesn't kill with the Pierce Blade now. And he's still a Sleet Storm, I believe. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, that's fine, though. I don't need that extra damage. So, he's obviously getting FFA'd here because he's dead to an FFA. There's no way this doesn't do 1,500 now that I have the Pierce Blade. There's no way. It's literally impossible. If this doesn't kill, I will, I will dude, I will just flee. I'll give him the dub, man. Setup's crazy though, actually. Like, I don't even. It's probably not that great, but I mean, dude, it's working really well for me. I haven't lost a single game, you know? Like, this setup's kind of nuts, dude. Just having this much shad which, with this much damage and stuff is sort of ridiculous. Sort of ridiculous, dude. Yeah, look at that. 2K. GG, bro. Well played. Alright, so. And look at that. I still had 3,000 health left over against an ice. Against an ice, dude. A 10K behemoth. I still have a third of my health left over. Look at that. Actually nuts, dude. This setup is pretty crazy, dude. The setup is actually... It's definitely underrated, dude. I'm not saying the setup's amazing or anything, but, dude, I thought a lot of people were saying in chat, oh, this, this, uh, you know, this setup's so bad. Use turquoise rope. Don't use dragoon amulet. I mean, hey, dude, I'm doing pretty well, bro. Um, I'm kind of killing it out here, you know?